purple and gray and orange blazes crisscross overhead as if squeezed out of the lumbering, tumbling clouds. Night is approaching, but first this. Twilight, then dusk. A prelude to the day's finale. An overture celebrating the joinder of beginning and end. That wordless parody. We didn't lie, did we? Or if we did, it wasn't with malice. No. What we said was true in the moment. Fit in, move the story along. It was as if it was as real as a benevolent God or the unconditional truth. I am just a wanderer in this big, wide world. I want to join that grand procession when the saints go marching in. All my folks have gone before me. All my friends and all my kin gonna meet them up yonder when the saints go marching in. Imagine the afterwards. Are there shrieks or cries or just a wounded silence? Where do you hide? Under the bed or a desk? Do you manage to scramble onto the roof? As you struggle to save yourself or anyone else, your potted plants, your favorite photographs, the quilt your mother knitted for you in the months before you were born, do you find solace in the thought that the sun will rise tomorrow? How long does it take for the sun to shine through, or is it always there, powerless to stop the destruction, lacking the qualities and characteristics and skill set to intervene, not even aware, of course, that anything is going wrong? Lucky sun. It will rise tomorrow, whether anyone can see it through the clouds and the smog, whether anyone other than you remains to witness its return. So come and join me. It's time that we begin. Want to witness that judgment when the saints go marching in.